Welcome back to Instables, everyone. So again, as we lead into next Thursday, CPI cooling off here, bouncing off of our eight day, continuing on lower on an engulfing candle to the downside. Can we possibly fill gaps to the downside here? I'm going to go over exactly what we're looking for from here. Hit the like button if you enjoy. Subscribe if you are new to the channel. And if you are a day trader, if you're looking for pre-market news, before market open, major volatile movers at very key levels like we mentioned here on Friday with MF at 162 pre-market high. Looking for that continuation. Continued on above 162, all the way to $2.50 on the day. One of many movers that we mentioned throughout the week. Go to instables.com in the description below. And for only $15 a month, you will never miss a breakout alert throughout the day again. So jumping into the spy with you guys here again, looking at our daily candle structure, what we want to be watching out for is our eight day crossing lower here. Again, we have been watching how we have been curling down here for that possible cross below our 21. And again, as we have been looking for possible bearish momentum, since we did have a gap down and now getting a wick to the upside, now continuing on with wicks to the upside on an engulfing candle to the downside. What we can assume is that if we do have a possible gap lower here, that if we do possibly open higher here with the momentum candle to the upside, that could be that possible morning star set up back above our eight day and continuation on higher. That is one watch that we have. If we continue on lower into again, our prior support that we had here at 443. So again, we're going to watch out for exactly how this next candle closes. Will we get a possible doji candle and possible morning star bounce leading into CPI on Thursday? And if that does happen, our continuation back higher will be if we possibly hold with bullish candle structure above our eight day. Again, we need to jump back above our eight day. If we're going to continue on higher here, if bulls want to be bullish, if you want to see any possible continuation here, again, you want a close back above our eight day or possibly curl back up here. But it looks like we are getting very close to crossing below our 21. And so we may be looking for that possible continuation on lower going into Thursday CPI. So we'll see exactly what happens, exactly how this next candle closes. And if we get that possible momentum candle back hired for that possible morning star setup. But from here, very, very cautious. Again, Wednesday and Thursday, we mentioned that we were increasing in sell pressure from prior sell pressure points. We were watching to see exactly how our sell pressure or buy pressure would come in after slightly decreasing in sell pressure after continuing on with decreases in buy pressure we were cautious and then we got our increase in sell pressure so we did have this continuation on lower very much suspecting that we could possibly pull back here again with our 12 that was crossing below our 26 we were cautious to the upside and sure enough getting that momentum candle to the downside now again if bulls want to show any possible strength here we want our 12 to cross back above our 26 for any possible continuation. And the reason why that is still possible here is because we have our EMA lines still above the median of our MACD, which again, prior we mentioned that we were looking for that continuation on above the median of our MACD, still after continuing below our median of our MACD as we had that happen prior when we pulled back and then continued on higher. So again, that's what we we're looking for prior. Now looking at our weekly candle structure as we closed out the week again, sitting on an engulfing candle to the downside, mentioning that we did not completely cover our upper wick of our prior candle, showing us that we could still bounce. And again, sitting within our upper weekly trend here, we could still bounce going into next week. So we are very cautious and looking for that possible again morning star setup. That could be that bounce going into next week on our weekly chart here. So again, that's what we're watching out for. Will we possibly close below our weekly chart for that possible continuation back lower on our daily chart or will we possibly bounce and look for any possible momentum to the upside any possible wick to the downside here could be that possible bullish move here that we've had again prior and now lastly looking at our monthly candle structure as we look to see exactly how next month's candle will close again as we were running into prior wicks here we were cautious because of these wicks and now again opening with an inside bar candle that we mentioned that very much was possible here as we ran right into prior wicks and now sitting on consolidation looking for proof of concept on our monthly candle structure if we will continue on higher again that will be clear if we jump back above our eight day on our daily chart but for now we are looking to see exactly where our eight day will cross will we get back below our 21 and will we possibly cross back higher for any possible bullish candle structure we'll see exactly what happens but from here very much cautious to the upside with an engulfing candle to the downside with room to run to the downside that we may even open lower from 
going into Monday. We'll see exactly what happens. Now, again, with that said, if you are a day trader, if you're looking for pre-market news before market open, major volatile movers at very key levels, like we mentioned here with MF on Friday, one of many that we mentioned throughout the week. Check out any other videos throughout the week if you want to see major movers that we've mentioned throughout the week. Here at 162, pre-market high continuing all the way to $2.50 on the day. One of many movers that we've mentioned throughout the week. Go to instables.com in the description below and you will never miss a breakout alert throughout the day again. And again, all of you Instables, I appreciate every one of you guys that have been supporting the channel. Looking forward to going at it next week. Again, leading into CPI, we will be cautious, but very much looking forward to seeing exactly what happens next as we sit on a pullback. Again, simply cautious into next week as we sit on an engulfing candle to the downside. And again, if you guys do like this video, it does help the channel grow, and I do appreciate it very much. And again, God bless you all, and I'll see you guys in the next video.